So now I've finished all the corrective blend shapes, just uh, just fixing up some of the corners, uh, adding a little bit of squash and stretch. You can see a tiny bit of stretch happening there. Uh, we've got some squashing happening on that one, uh, some squash around the nostrils. You can see what the nostrils doing on this guy, <coughs> uh, just to make some of those work. There's a bit of stretch happening in the mouth. Uh, and all this sort of subtle stuff will just help us uh, sell those things and we'll automate all this in Maya with the blend shapes. So now we have to send all this stuff back. Now you could either just export each one as OBJs like we did when we came into Mugbox, uh, but we could also just uh, export it all in one go. And the way that we do that is we need to make sure that we've got the object selected, file, send to Maya, and then we need to go send as uh, update current scene, sorry, add to current scene. But before we do that, we just want to check our preferences <coughs> and make sure that we've got export sculpt layers on current mesh as my blend shape. So it's going to export this back as one mesh with a whole bunch of blend shapes. And by default, it's like there. So we just have to switch that to that one. So now we go file, send to Maya, and we want to add it to the current scene. So we're going to add come back into Maya and you'll notice what happens. It's a bit hard to see here by default is it's brought all these down here. So I actually have to do uh, a restart when I send back to my box of Maya because I lose my hotkeys. So just done a restart, I loaded this back up again. And now you can see our extreme blend shapes are here, which we can now just hide because we sort of don't need those anymore. Um, now we've got this new one. So I put this in a group and this is our fixed blend shapes. And, and there they all are really. So what we need to do is just unhide those guys so we can see them all. Now, uh, you'll notice that our extreme blend shapes are still there. So let's hide that. Uh, there we go. And these are all our new blend shapes. Now I'm just going to show you because my box does not put shaders on uh, all the blend shapes. So to just to fix that, we can just go um, assign new material or um, a size favorite material Lambert. And we'll just fix that up and the Lambert shows us that there are my box uh, fixed blend shapes. So we actually don't need this guy anymore, the, the default. Uh, we've got all our blend shapes. These are the ones we're really concerned about uh, that we want to use. So let's just move them and arrange them quickly. Okay, so now we've got all our fixed blend shapes here uh, in our fixed blend shapes uh, window. but. This is the sort of problem with the corrective blend shapes is that we actually aren't going to use these uh, meshes to use for the blend shapes. We actually need to, to make find the difference between the jaw settings, the actual jaw offset, and these guys, and the actual uh, blend shapes in order to create our, uh, our true corrective blend shapes. And we do this, uh, like I've shown in another course, with the Extract Deltas plugin. So let's do this just quickly. And move these guys down and we're going to uh, simply uh, we need to go to the the place where the, the the mesh is actually not working so let's match it up and find this first one that's when the mouth was going up which is the last one so we find that frame that we created this original shape and we select the original mesh now important to remember just to have as little things in your history for, for this to work properly. Like if you've got extra blend shape nodes in here, it is prone to error, I've found. So you just wanna clean out all that stuff and just have your skin cluster to create these guys. So we select the mesh, the skin mesh first, and then the corrective, the fixed corrective, and then we just hit our extract deltas plugin. Okay, so after a, a fair bit of bug fixing, uh, I figured out a workaround for this problem. So it seems like there's something that Mudbox is doing to the meshes when it sends them back that this plugin does not like. So um, as as always with Maya, uh, the I find that the polygon the political polygon objects are, are prone to error and prone to a lot of bugs. So I have a few ways for uh, getting around this, and one of the ways for um, cleaning up objects when Maya is um, putting weird things that plugins or other programs don't like is simply to export them as an OBJ and then import them back in again. So I'm just going to do that now and I'm going to grab these shapes and we have to, uh, again, uh, when we're exporting as an OBJ, we have to have the, all the shapes zeroed out. Otherwise, when they come back in, 
they may come back in uh, zeroed out in the wrong spot so that's the first step just go isolate selected which is up here isolate selected and then we want to export these one by one so you can just go file export selected um, export that in as uh, as as whatever it's called so that's top lip up taking face off so I can see the difference fixed copy that so got it save so I'm going to do that for all of these objects and then re-import them back in again uh, and then we'll continue with the tutorial so I'll do that really quickly now Okay, so now that I've saved all those out um, individually, we can just come in here and delete all those shapes. And now I'm going to re-import them back in, so let's just do that quickly. Okay, so now that we've imported all of those shapes again, uh, we can then bring them back into the fixed shapes group. <coughs> so there they all are. Now we can try out this all over again. So uh, what I'm going to do is come over here to that uh, area where that top lip is up and we can find the top lip up shape here. And uh, now we hit our extract deltas plugin again. And this time because that object is clean and it doesn't have any errors, uh, we now have our, <coughs> our shape. So uh, what I'm going to do is grab all these guys here and just bring them down and then line this up. So this is actually uh, the fixed extracted shape. That's the one we want um, to use in the blend shape. So I'm just going to do that for all of these right now in that same style. So the next one we go to the mouth open. So we just find it where the mouth is open at its extreme. Click once, twice, and then extract deltas. Okay, so now we're finished uh, this and these are all the blend shapes that we're going to be using. These guys you could delete or you can just leave them there and hide them. Sometimes I like to just leave those sorts of shapes around just in case something happens and we've made a mistake somewhere. Uh, these are all the extracted shapes so let's uh, group these and we'll call this uh, fixed and extracted. There we go, so they're all fixed and extracted shapes and now all we have to do is create a blend shape on our actual, <coughs> our actual uh, uh, face, skin face here. So select them all in order, any order, uh, shouldn't matter for these guys too much. And then we select this guy last and we need to go to, this is the important part, create the formers, blend shape, then to the option box. And just make sure that in the advance we've got front of chain, you can leave everything else empty. Hit create and now we have that blend shape here uh, before the skin cluster which is what the front of the chain is. So let's just zoom in here and we can sort of see and go through some of these shapes. So let's go up to frame 20 when uh, the lips are up. And we can see, see uh, lips up fix extracted. And that's the, sh the fix here. So I'm just going to come in here and select this node just to take off this wireframe. And we can see that the, the fix that I've sculpted in Mudbox is now applied and works really nicely uh, in that shape. So let's t test it out for... <coughs> um, then the next shape, which is, uh, this is the chin coming up. So we can just see how that's, that's sort of squashing out the chin and fixing that up a little bit. You can sort of see in the side, it's sort of like pushing it all out rather than having this ugly stuff happening. Uh, let's go on to the next one. This is with the chin down. So with the chin down, We've just smoothed that out and pulled it in a little bit as if it's stretching a little bit. Uh, 140, let's go to mouth open fix. You can sort of see how it's sucking it in and uh, that's the shape and especially at the back, uh, we're getting a bit of a nicer shape happening there. Uh, don't mind the back of the face, that's just my, that's just my lighting. But you can see that's working there nicely. Uh, let's go to turn that off. Let's go to uh, 180. And this is the bottom lip down. See how that just sort of fixes all that, that stuff out there. Again, we're sort of pushing it all out like it would actually happen when it's opening. And finally, with the top lip up, we can sort of see that getting fixed there, just 
pushing it out a little bit when that comes out. In fact, that one could do with a couple of tweaks, but uh, it's all pretty good. So now that that's done, we just need to automate uh, setting up these guys. So I'll do that in the next lesson.